everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on simplifying algebraic fractions. So this is a skill that only appears on higher tier and before watching this video you need to make sure that you're really good at factorising quadratics. So if you're not quite comfortable with factorising quadratics yet you need to go and watch my video on that first because I'm going to kind of skip through that step when going through this video. So here's a simple example. It says simplify fully and it gives you an algebraic fraction. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to factorise the top of the fraction, the numerator, and we're going to factorise the denominator. Now with this question, neither the numerator nor denominator looks easier or harder than the other. I normally do the easiest one first. So I'm just going to start with the top. So factorising the top, we should get x plus 3 and x minus 2. And then when we factorise the bottom, we get x minus 2 and x minus 5. Now if you've done this step correctly, you should notice that you've got a bit of repetition on the top and on the bottom. And it's this x minus 2 here. I've got it on my numerator and on my denominator. So these cancel each other out. I'm actually just going to cross them out. And I'm just left with x plus 3 on my numerator and x minus 5 on my denominator. And that is my answer. x plus 3 over x minus 5. Here's another example, and it's slightly harder because we've got some more difficult factorising to do. So in this question, the numerator looks easier to factorise than the denominator does. So I'm going to do the numerator first, and I'll explain why in a minute. So the numerator factorises to x minus 3 and x minus 5, and the denominator... Now I know that either an x minus 3 or an x minus 5 must appear in the denominator so that it will cancel out. So it just gives me a bit of a clue as to how to factorise the bottom. So the bottom is going to factorise to 2x plus 3 and x minus 5. You might find it helpful to do the the numerator first and then it gives you a bit of a clue or if not just use your standard method to factorise the bottom. So again I've got two things that cancel out and this time it's the x minus 5 so I'm just going to cross through those and I'm left with x minus 3 and 2x plus 3 and that is my simplified answer. I'm just going to do one final example and that's this one here. I'm, I wouldn't say it's any more complicated or less complicated than the previous examples. It's just a bit different and it's one to watch out for. So the same as before, I'm going to factorise both the numerator and denominator. This time the one that looks the easiest is the denominator. And since this isn't a quadratic, it's actually going to factorise into a single bracket. So it's just going to be 2 bracket p add 3. Now this gives me a clue as to how the numerator factorises. It's going to have a p add 3 in there and you might have recognised that the numerator is actually a difference of two squares quadratic, meaning that there is no coefficient in front of a p. We have no single p's, only p squared and um, numbers. So it's actually p add 3 and p minus 3. That's why we get no, um, no p's. So this time what cancels out is the p add 3 there and there and I'm just left with p minus 3 over 2 and that's my answer. So not any more difficult or easy, it's just a bit different and you've got to watch out for that difference of two squares on the 
Here's two questions for you to try. I've not included an easier example like the first one. I've done one like the second one I did and one like the third one. This one here is actually more complicated. It's more complicated than the third example I did, but it is similar. So see if you can do this one as a challenge. Pause the video and unpause when you're ready to see the solutions. Here's the solutions. So in this first one, I factorised the denominator first here, and that gave me a clue what I was looking for in the top one. And then you should see that the x plus 1 cancels out, so you're left with 2x plus 1 over x minus 4. This next one's more complicated. So it's actually the top that factorises into a single bracket because we don't have any number on the end. So it's just going to factorise into 3x and 2x plus 1. And then the bottom, it is a difference of two squares again, but because I've got a 4x squared, I have to have a 2x and a 2x in both my brackets. So it's 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. So the 2x plus 1 cancels out on the uh, numerator and denominator, and I'm just left with 3x over 2x minus 1. Thank you for watching.